Hey guys, I'm here to talk to you about a cool card trick, a cool mathematical card trick that works every time if you exactly follow what am I about to show you. What am I about to show you? So you ask the spectator to pick three cards. In this case, I'm gonna use the three fives, the five of hearts, five of spade, and the five of diamonds. And so they pick those three cards. <clears throat> then what you want to do is count out three decks. The first deck, ten cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And the next deck is going to be fifteen cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. And the final deck is going to be 15 more cards. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. In the end, you should end up with 9 cards remaining. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. <clears throat> Let me just tighten, tidy these up real quick. Okay, so what you're going to ask the spectator do, to do is take one of the cards, I'm taking the five of hearts, and put it on the first deck the, with, the, with the ten. They put it on here, and then you ask them to cut the second pile anywhere they want to, cut the second pile, and place it on top of the first. Then, they take the, then you tell them to take their second card, which is the five of spades, put it on the second pile, then tell them to split the third pile anywhere they want, and put it on the second pile. And lastly, they have one more card remaining, which is the five of diamonds. And you tell them to put it on the third pile. Now, on the third pile, the nine cards that you had remaining, you put them on the third pile. Then, after that, you slowly pick it up like this. And Then what you have to do is count four cards off on the top. One, two, three, four, and place them underneath. Now if you have done what I have showed you so far, the trick is, should be going good so far. Then what you're going to go do is go in an up and a down direction. And ask the spectator if they see their card. If they, <clears throat> they'll tell you they don't because uh, in the end, it's the final three that come up. So you're going to go up, down, 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 up, down. So they weren't in there in that pile. There was just the five of clovers, which the spectator did not pick. So we're gonna go again. Give me one second. So we're gonna go up, down, 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 up, down. Up, down, up, down, up, down. Did not see you again. So you're going to go one last time. Up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. They still did not see it. Up, down, up, down, up, down. Now we have three cards remaining. And then amaze them by saying those should be your three cards. And there they are. The three fives that they had picked in the beginning. Now, somebody, I do not know how this works. Somebody explain me. It's just a cool mathematical trick. Amaze your friends. Thank you. Please subscribe, comment, or.